and welcome back everyone to not some developments and as you guys requested in my discord server and the poll that one today we're making a simple sniper scope for your fps game in our last tutorial we actually ended up with the custom aims for every gun so every single gun has a different amount of aim that they're doing and if you want to have a legit sniper scope you should probably go and watch that video you can either watch it in the top right corner or in the description of this video today we're just working on the gui part of it which allows you to literally like have this radical that you have in the middle the red one changed to the actual like sniper scope and i chose this image just because i liked it and i will have it for you guys to download if you're interested so this is a very easy tutorial it takes like five minutes so let's go ahead and get into the video Also, don't forget that at a thousand subscribers, I'm giving away five thousand robux to five lucky people. So, a thousand robux per person. If you want to be a part of that, go ahead and subscribe and join my Discord. And first of all, you're going to go ahead and make sure that your mouse icon is on because, for example, some games like mine, you actually disable it so you can see it. So we're gonna go ahead and quickly bring that back. So. For me, it's in framework client, so I'll click Control F, search for like mouse icon enable, and you should find a match pretty quickly. Either delete this or change it to true. I'm just gonna go ahead and disable that line. So basically, now if we go back into the game and play it, you should see your mouse icon on because with this tutorial, we're going to just code it to. Uh, represent either the radical or the sniper scope now you're gonna go ahead and open your starter guis click add and add a local script and i'm gonna call it something like i don't know scope script whatever scope script right go ahead and clear all of this up now you can, you can either go into the description of this video and click a link for the scope script in your web browser or you can go ahead and join my Discord server and in the downloadable files sniper scope tab you're going to have the radical so you can go ahead and save the image you can go ahead and save the sniper image as well and then you can access the same exact code as right here so I'm just going to, for example, I'm going to do the web because most people do it from here. So go ahead, just copy this back to Roblox, paste it in. And I'm going to quickly explain to you guys what everything here kind of does just so you don't um, get mixed in. You can actually delete this little green part. You won't need that. Basically, we find a player and then we get their mouse and we change the mouse icon. So your mouse icon we change it to an image I'm gonna show you guys how you get different images how you swap these so for example let's say you have your HUD or whatever you can just actually you can do it this way you can go ahead and click this look for a image label make sure your game is published for this so image label and now if you click this scroll down where it says image click this you can add images so you can go ahead and click that button click choose file it will open up your files and then for example you see, i have these two scopes downloaded i can just click on it click open and it will it will save i don't actually need to do this because i've already done it so all of mine are saved here now if i select for example I like this one I want this to be my radical I'll click on it now this code right here is this radicals ID so I can go ahead and just copy that and swap these numbers so if you wanted something different than what I have here you would do that process you would throw in an image copy its ID swap it here this is your radical this is what's going to be um, just without scoping this is what you see as your aiming point right now when you start the function and you click mouse button 2 which is your right button on your mouse or the aiming button it's going to switch from this original one to the scope one so again i would go here 
for example, pick a scope, copy its ID, paste it right here. And now after you obviously release the button, you're just going to copy your original one here. So when you release the button, it will switch from the scope back to the original and so on and so forth. And you're done. This is this was actually so easy. But if you do add an image label like this, make sure to actually go ahead and um, either delete it or make it invisible because you don't want it to just stick out there. So I will just make it invisible. So go back to your game, click play. As you can see, we start off with the first image, so your radical image. And then if we click the right button, it will swap to a scope. As you can see right here, it just switches there and then switches back. Now, if you like this tutorial, please go ahead and subscribe because you don't want to miss out on the Robux giveaway. If you like this video or have any problems, go ahead and comment down below or in my Discord server. I will usually respond within a couple of hours and help you guys out. And then if you have any tutorial ideas that you want to see me make, I'll probably do a muzzle flash in the next video. Go ahead and let me know down below as well. Videos release every Saturday, so see you next time.